body. If I use bar soap and then rinse it, it's like there's... Oh, of course you're recording. You want to finish that thought? <laughs> Stop recording! Why do you so have to do that? I just said I was going to record no, my TBR video. Zoe, did I or did I not Wait, say I was going to do hey, that? But I didn't realize you meant like now. <laughs> I don't think any of us realized you meant now. Can you, can you stop it? Hello, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, today, I'm going to be doing my April TBR um, and going over some of that stuff with you. Um, for those of you who came to the live stream, that was a lot of fun. Thank you. Um... Go ahead, babe. Sorry. Say cuddle, buddy. I'm sorry, Fred's got really itchy ears. I know, Fred's ears are horribly Why itchy. Why do you have to record while we're all, like, doing stuff? Because when are we not? Like, <laughs> like unless I get up at six in the morning. But, like, you could wait till Zoe sits down and is done with your bed. No, Zoe hates when she's right here and I'm recording. So you make it harder on yourself. I make it harder on everybody, apparently. Oh. There nice. She goes. <laughs> Hello, friends. <laughs> we survived for two years in here, and we're going to end up killing each other in the last two weeks. Oh. That's what it's happened. because there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, I know. What? <laughs> Is that a mock? <laughs> Good to go. Okay. You got the blankets down where his arm is. Fuck my life. <laughs> See what I mean, though? You started recording at the it's worst okay. time. Actually, if I would have been able to record when I first started recording, I'd have been done by now. No. <laughs> oh. I was in frame at all. You were in front of the screen, not even the camera. Here she comes. Fred, get out the way. Why are you whispering? I need to make some breakfast, too, by the way. Go ahead. So do I. I want everyone to knock their socks off. You're wasting all your memory. No, I'm not. Because everyone's going to see this. Oh! <laughs> Everyone's going to see what a horrible life you have. Yeah. Put me in the face. This is much higher than normal. Okay. Um, so, these are the books that I'm going to read in April. How? I have no idea. <laughs> but... This is what I'm supposed to be doing here. <laughs> so, um, first, I'll go ahead and tell you the books I already read. Um, and they're all Stephen King books, which is a word I never thought I would say. Wow. So, um, The Gunslinger. Um, that was cool. I'll be doing a video on that here shortly. Um, and then I started going through a bunch of his short story collections. You know what I thought of this morning when I woke up? You know on Meet the Parents when he's like, I got nipples. Can you melt me, fucker? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know why that was like the first thing I thought of when I woke up this morning. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie since it was in the theaters. Guys, okay, bye. I got nipples. Can you milk me, fucker? Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Oh. Uh, woo. Classic. Boy, this video is going places we never imagined. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so anyhow. Um... I read uh, Night Shift by Stephen King, which is a short story collection. Um, Skeleton Crew by Stephen King, which is a short story collection. 
And right now I'm reading um, Nightmares and Dreamscapes, which is a short story collection by Stephen King. Um, but these stories don't seem very short. I also want to start reading um, Grib Scri Grib. Grim Scribe by Thomas Ligotti. Um, I wanted to try to do that this weekend, but that was back when I was just reading Night Shift. And um, since I started reading all the other short story collections, um, that got put on the back burner. So let's get into the other books I'm reading. <clears throat> First, I got The Passionate Pagan by Carter Brown. I started reading this in a try a chapter on, um, for March Mystery Madness. And this was really, really fun. And I think it lost out to Mourn the Hangman by Harry Whittington. Good old Whittington. Good old Hare. Um, but this was, I read the first two chapters of this and loved it. So, um, that's going in. <clears throat> Next. Um, I got a spider paper back here and I don't know if I'm going to try to read the whole book or cause this is a two book collection um, I don't know if I'm gonna just... So it's either Death's Crimson Juggernaut, um, or the Red Death Rain. So I don't know which one of those I'm gonna tackle. But, um, I would love to start talking about the spider again. Um, he's so much fun as, like, a pulp hero. Look at all that awesome stuff going on there. Bunch of gas mask dudes, a dude with a knife. He's... Got the damsel and a gun. Um, things are just happening. Oh, they shouldn't have done that. The original Webster. That's kind of silly. Um, what? The original Webster. Yeah, I, I guess I know who that was written for. Um, so yeah, so one of these I'm going to... Then we have The Phantom and Barnabas Collins. Um, this says... Can Barnabas rescue Maggie Evans from the evil doctor? My guess is going to be yeah, because this is only like the the sixth book in the series. And I know this goes on for a long time. So um, he's going to have to save Maggie. Look at how cool he looks. It's like, sup? So um, I'm hoping this is like just super atmospheric oh, Victoria Winters um, oh this is so much fun I'm like having fun just holding the book that's kind of silly but yeah no yeah this is back in 1880 <clears throat> um, I really liked it when it was present day 60s um, then I got, uh, Harry Whittington, Web of Murder. Um, this, I also read the first chapter of. Um, <clears throat> one of the cool things about these Black Lizard, um, copies of these reprints is that, um, good old Hare does a, um, introduction to these. And um, I'm hoping that the introductions are different in each one because there's not a lot of stuff about good old hair by good old hair, if that makes sense. So um, I would really, I don't know, a page came out. That's not good. Which I do, look. God damn it. How is it that a page came out of a book from the 80s and then I have other books of his from the 50s and 60s and the pages are still intact? What does that tell you? Okay, so um, if you know if the Black Lizard reprints, I think there's four of them. 
um, if they have different introductions in each one, let me know, because I'm going to be picking all these up if there are. Then for National Poetry Month, and um, just because I'm a big fan, and um, the group read we're doing on Discord is Love is a Dog from Hell by Charles Bukowski. Um, this is probably his, I've said it before, one of his most famous poetry books. Um, it's kind of written during um, probably one of the most exciting eras of his life. And I know there's, I need to do a little bit more research on it, but um, I know that there are, like, the poetry book he wrote called Scarlet about um, cupcakes. Um, that book's in here. Um, so, like, a lot of his poetry chat books from that time are collected in here. Um, and that would be mid-70s, I think. Um, 74 to 77. Yeah. So mid seventies. So, um, this is going to be fun. I've read it quite a few times and, um, really enjoy it. Um, then another Whittington I'm going to read is the, this is the Stark house, um, collection of three, um, of good old hairs books. Um, like me, like murder is a book that he wrote in English, obviously, and it was never picked up here, but a publishing house in France picked it up, translated it, and then Stark House found that translation of the book in French and retranslated it into English. So I want to see how, um, like if good old hair's voice is good. And if you want to see a picture of good old hair laughing because he knows he's a better writer than you, that's the picture. That's him laughing that you'll never be as good as him. And he's he just knows it and he doesn't give a shit. Look at him. What a dick. Good old hair. All right. The flies are in. Um, <clears throat> then I'm going to finish this. I read it because I just, I couldn't not go through this when I got it for my birthday. But, um, I watched them eat me alive from the, um, Men's Adventure Library Journal edited by Robert Deese and Wyatt Doyle. Um, I read this actual story that the picture comes from and it was horrific and awesome. So I'm going to go through that. <clears throat> I have a couple more and I'm going to start with, um, going through this beast, the weird. I think I'm going to do a story out of here every week, um, until I'm done with the book. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, man, this is very, yeah. Then I'm going to, let me see if I can get these out without causing mass destruction over here. Ugh. Nope. Okay. Ah, <sighs> the alluring art of Margaret Brandage, queen of pulp pinup art. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to be reading this and that should be a pretty quick read because I think it's mostly her artwork and another book that I'm really excited about. Ah. Ah. The Fantastic Paintings of Rosetta. So I'm going to go through this too because um, this should be a quick read but a fun look. So, so gorgeous. Um, so that's my TBR. Let me know what you're reading down below, and we'll talk soon. Bye.